when brands get involved, brand safety becomes a concern. You can't have your advertisement next to, this came up in YouTube in 2012, next to an advertising for a uh, jihadist or the KKK, which happens on Facebook all the time. When that happens, when your brand gets served next to that content, it's a risk to your brand. You get associated with it and you don't want that. Brand safety becomes super important to the platform that you're posting on. The problem with brand safety is that it's bland. There's rules around it. We don't want our advertising appearing next to Planned Parenthood. We don't want it being appearing next to religious iconography. So you're not going to get the Joel Olson ads or Joel Olson content next to your ad about potato chips. There's so many little nuances that you need to make sure that your brand is as safe as possible. Unfortunately, safe is bland. The content that is created around that also has to adhere to that brand safety, which means the content is inherently less chaotic and less creative because chaos is creative. That is one of the reasons that TikTok became so popular. Yeah. There weren't a lot of brands on there. It was mostly people talking to other people. They could make content that wasn't getting the virality that you would have seen on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, all of the rest, because they had a more robust, the crux of the matter is your brand has to be seen to be in a safe position so that you don't get in trouble as a brand. You don't want your brand appearing next to photos of the Twin Towers going down. You just don't. It's just one of those things. So when that happens, you have to be cognizant of both the creators that you're aligning yourself with because they could have some content in the past that is a little bit nail bitey. Unless you're willing to stand by that content and that creator, you need to like seriously research who you're doing your work with as well as put a brand safety guideline in place 